Hello, this is Sebastian from socialanxietysolutions.com. Welcome to Testimonials Tuesday. And it's a special kind of Testimonials Tuesday. Why, Sebastian? Why? Well, because uh, it's the countdown to the next 30 day challenge. That's going to happen on May 18th. You have until then to sign up. So, six more days. Uh, the last one was a, a blast and it was an amazing success. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, so many people loved it and made profound transformations. And uh, I'm going to share uh, those with you every day until we actually get started with the next challenge. So, um, and I do that especially because it's very difficult for people to believe that, wow, doing a, one of these free challenges must be not that valuable. Well, think again, this is super valuable. Um, and uh, yeah, it probably doesn't work for me and I'm a tough case and I've tried all these things and it doesn't work for me. I even tried tapping and that didn't work for me. Nothing works for me. Well, you, what you've tried in the past didn't work. This is completely different, like nothing else you've ever tried. Um, but you know, you, it's, it's hard to convince someone, um, you know, if you're setting your way. But it's just a story that you have in your head if you're believing this won't work for me. And my question is, how's that story working for you? How about you, you know, get rid of that story and instead you give it a go? And these following two um, testimonials or rather comments from people um, might inspire you. The first one is from Marina and she writes, I'm at day 20 and I want to say that I've never been so relaxed before. No, I've not overcome my social anxiety yet, but now I see how I can do it and I'm sure that I will do it definitely. Now, for 20 days of tapping, I'm not reacting at things with intense emotions. I've become more calm and accepting of things and events that surround me and my critical inner voice finally shut up. It's very important to be persistent and keep going. At some point, all of my emotional baggage just opened up and I felt sad and unmotivated. But Seb explained in his videos about setbacks and I was prepared just to live these emotions without suppressing and continuing to do the challenge. And yes, in the end, I felt better, motivated and with fresh ideas and perspectives. So keep going and you will have results. Thank you, Marina. Next is the second and the last one for today from Sarabande. Hi there, I'm at day 20 and I want to tell you some great stuff about what Sebastian is learning us. Since I've been started with the challenge, my anxiety really dropped for like 60%. And this is new for me. Yesterday I really felt so calm when going out for a walk and I felt a lot less stress and anxiety as usual. The tapping is very helpful and I feel the old pain and memories or anxiety leave my body when tapping. Sometimes more than other times though, but that's okay. Very interesting, very interesting stuff about the subconscious mind also. How the, brain how the brain works and how you can accept and love the subconscious instead of pushing it back or away. You will learn how events, from being child to the now, are being saved in the subconscious mind and therefore you react in a particular way, anxious, stressed, flight, fight or flight, etc. And we have to be patient and loving while doing this for ourselves. It won't happen overnight, like Sebastian says, but it will happen, promise. Be persistent, have faith in this challenge and in yourself, take the time for it, good luck, and enjoy the ride. Love. All right, so hope these two testimonials inspired you. Those are just two of the many, many, many that I have. Um, and you're gonna hear from that, from, from, from that every single day now until the challenge starts. And this is the last time I'm gonna run the challenge for a while, because it's a lot of work, especially the aftermath of it. So after this, I won't be running any for three months and maybe even up to six months. I will do it again, but you know, not for uh, a significant period of time. So this is your chance to sign up for it. It's free. Totally, utterly, completely free, okay? So you can sign up by going to bit.ly forward slash social confidence challenge. That is B-I-T forward slash social confidence challenge. Now please, pretty please, with sugar on top, share this with your friends. We all want to 
uh, reduce our social anxiety from the comfort of our own homes. This does not require you to forcefully face your fears because that's not even possible right now, now that we're in lockdown. So this is a fantastic time to try out this ACT approach. Uh, you know, it's about acceptance, compassion, and tapping. You're gonna hear more about this throughout the challenge. But, um, you know, this is, this is a really, really powerful way to overcome your social anxiety. So go register right now. Don't wait any longer. Go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash social confidence challenge. All right, talk to you tomorrow.